Okay guys, this video might be quite a big deal, especially if you use Android, I'm not sure about Apple, I don't have an iPhone, but if somebody has an iPhone, after watching this video, please confirm in comments if this works on iPhones, but for now, for Android, there is the best way, in my opinion so far, to block ad trackers, or just app trackers in total which is those apps you have in your phone that are tracking every move you do on it, every touch and all that for advertiser purposes. How do we get rid of that is DuckDuckGo. I know you might have opinions on DuckDuckGo, but on this one right here, they did a really, really good job. Go to a uh, app store and just search for DuckDuckGo and you will land on this one here. It's this little ducky with a orange background and in my case, I already have it downloaded and open it up. When you open it up, you have to go to these three dots right here and go to settings. At the settings, scroll down to you have app tracking protection. You have as well email protection, DuckDuckGo Mac app. So it looks like you can do it on Mac and the Windows app. I have those or that one for Windows already. App tracking protection. Click on it. In my case, it's already loaded and turned on. And you have it right here in top corner that you can flip that on. And as you see right here, blocked 492 tracking attempts across only four apps. Only four apps. Viber, which I don't even know why I have it on this phone, Weather Channel, Speed Test, and eBay. So in all of them, there is a common denominator here. Google, 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 Google. I'm not saying that Google is doing anything nefarious, but we are talking about my privacy here, and I don't appreciate any app or company tracking for whatever reason. Even if they're saving my life, I don't want my life to be saved without my knowledge that it's happening. And that is something I'm appreciating more and more about what DuckDuckGo has developed here. Let's see, for example, what is speed test trying to get through Amazon, through Google, Comscore? I don't even know what that is. So they're trying to look for last name, screen density, battery level, OS version, state, GPS coordinates, network connection type, unique identifier, device brand, device orientation, device language, CPU data, system volume. Whoa, what, do you even see what I'm seeing or am I by myself here? Device model, advertising ID, okay, network carrier, cookies, first name, postal code, installed date of the app, seriously, city, device boot time, charging status, time zone, app version, gender, and the available internal storage. Well, let's see what, uh, Amazon is asking for exactly the same stuff. Why do they want to know all that information if they're just going to show me an ad? But they want to make that ad 100% tailored to me, but they're forgetting one thing. I keep repeating this a million and a billion times to all these companies. I understand the business model. On this YouTube channel, yes, I make a little money from ads too, but I don't want those ads to be intrusive as you see these lists right here, why do you want to know that for me collected on a database that if tomorrow, God forbid, that database gets breached and all this information is out on the wilderness, now I can get doxxed, I can get my identity stolen, I can have my bank account stolen, I can have scammers that I can never get rid of anymore. So now, just because you wanted to tailor the ad 1 million percent to everything that's around me, you are risking my entire livelihood and possibly even life because there's bad actors out there that will do harm to people just for fun. Yes, they're sick, but they exist, unfortunately. Now, who is Comscore? I don't even know who that is now, actually. They want 51 attempts, 51 attempts to collect all this information right here. This is not okay. 35 attempts from Amazon and 228 attempts from Google through speed test. Because you would think, why do Amazon and Google and all that stuff go through speed test? That's just an app, you know, to measure my internet speed. Well, that's not the reality of it, unfortunately. And here we go, uh, through eBay. Looks like it's only Google made 11 attempts 
through eBay 36 minutes ago, which is quite right now. Device total memory, all the stuff that I just said again. It's it's this is mind boggling to me how these companies. OK, I understand that you want to make money and these are all apps that I enable the protection against. Yes, all of them. But while making money, can you even consider consider that our safety is being put on the showcase now? for bad actors as well. Not everybody is, I don't know, Asus and Acer and HP and these companies trying to sell me an in cartridge and I don't know, a RAM or a motherboard, which I'm fine with that. Show me that ad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. But do you ever think that this data is actually breachable? The, the data, I don't care how great your servers are, your so-called cloud storage is, it is breachable. It's online. You're making all these transactions on data online. There is no way that anybody can absolutely secure and make it safe on the internet while transmitting and receiving data. There's just a reality of life that that's how data works and that's how the internet works. So these companies have to take a serious look at the mirror and how would it feel if their own data got leaked that they will have to now change their entire identity just to save their lives and livelihoods and do that on top of not being a rich ceo or a rich i don't know developer try doing it as somebody that's just you know living check to check like everybody else just see how how possible that is and no i sound pissed but in reality i'm just being passionate and i i want to make sure that i put this point across everybody that how important this whole privacy thing is. Forget about the whole political talk about it and I have nothing to do with them. I don't even care of them. All I care is about me and you actually being safe here because it's our livelihood and possibly our own lives and our family's lives on this data and these data breaches, which we all know they're happening more often than ever. And especially when the whole world is operating on internet, this is just not cool. This is not cool. Cookies, right? How did even Linus Tech Tips channel get taken down? Cookies, right here. Being exchanged for ad revenue. There is a million ways to get ads across to us. I watch ads when I watch videos. I watch ads when I click apps. I understand the business model. I understand that somebody wants to make money, needs to make money. Somebody needs to be employed. And I'm okay with all of that because, yes, in these days we're living in, ads are quite the major method of making money for not only corporations, but even private citizens like me and you. But we have to be extremely careful. And so far, kudos to DuckDuckGo for making this a reality. And yes, there is other companies that do similar or the same thing, but the way DuckDuckGo implemented that and the way it actively works that takes over the apps and becomes almost like a VPN to your phone, to me, that's something I respect. And as you see right here, it is right here, uh, app tracking protection. And yes, I keep my sensors, camera, mic, and all that off and the location off. Not that I hate companies making money. I just don't want them to make that money while risking everything I live for and everything I earn. That's all. That is all. And with that said, I hope you learned something on this video and uh, I hope you understand where I'm coming from and I'm, I'm, I'm ju not just sounding like a pissed off, I don't know, psycho. I'm just doing it because I seriously want people to take their data, their privacy and their information a little bit more serious. It's your livelihood and your life and your family's life at stake. If you understand what I'm trying to say here, it's not that you have something to hide. That, that worked in the 20s and 30s. If you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't be worried about it. But now we live on the age of internet. Things are much more different now. Things are not the same. So take your data privacy very serious. And uh, you can give it a try to this DuckDuckGo. Uh, ad block, not ad blocking, but tracker blocking. And see it for yourself. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And again, take your data privacy seriously because nobody else will and thank you for watching and enduring this through this video and we'll see you next time bye